Hello everybody and I hope you had a great 4th of July and today I want to talk to you about something that I know a, a lot of preppers don't talk about or if they do they're guys and it's all about guns and all kinds of stuff and I'm going to do a video on how to help protect yourself inside your own home without using weapons you know the shooting kind okay but um, today I want to talk to you about your health. A lot of us older especially even younger people they're too overweight they eat unhealthy they can't run a half of a block can't even walk a half of a block and our health is important for what's coming you must be prepared physically and I say that with all honesty and sincerity that you must do something to get yourself in better shape than you are today unless you're you know prime hey then that's okay but most of us aren't walking doing some push-ups and they don't have to be the mili military kind good grief if all you can do is girly push-ups go for girly push-ups who cares build some body strength you know a person in a wheelchair you know they look like oh my gosh you know they're a perfect victim but a person in a wheelchair that gets knocked over can grab somebody on the ankles and while they're beating them on the top of their back or their head, a good knife to the back of their heel or their leg would put them, render them, I mean, they'd be on the ground in no time at all. So think, how can you protect yourself? What can you do? If you have to walk, use a cane to walk, make it a weapon. Get a cane that has a knife at the end. That clicks open with a button. Or uh, that's a, a stick that can hmm, bash a head in or something. You know what I'm saying? But exercise. Whatever you can do. If you're just a half a percent better physically than what you were before. Well, that's better than what you were before. And our food has a lot to do with it. You know, if things get really bad. And in a lot of places, they're already having rolling blackouts, even in the summer. Well, do you have electrolytes on hand? And I'm not talking to Gatorade, sugary sweet drinks, but how about coconut milk? Coconut milk and coconut water is a perfect way to put electrolytes back into the body naturally, good, healthy for you. You know, the liquid that comes out of the middle of coconut Keep some on hand. You may need it. You, you, you don't know. Potassium. Do you know the best foods for potassium? And it ain't just bananas. Actually, the best food for pota potassium is avocados. Tomatoes have potassium. There's lots of foods out there that are rich in potassium. If, you get, if you're low on potassium, and the reason I know this is I had a family member. She's passed away, my mom. She... She had uh, problems with potassium, and the doctor put her on tomato juice. He was one of these doctors that preferred to go with natural before he prescribed medications. And so he put her on uh, tomato juice, which cleared it up. He tested her again when she went back, and her potassium levels were fine. So try natural first. You know, there's lots of cancer-fighting things out there. One of the one of pickled foods, for instance, one of the reasons I pickle food is because pickled food is good for the pow pow polyps or whatever you want to call them that the colon gets. It helps shrink them, helps prevent them from turning into being cancerous. You know, garlic is a wonderful cancer fighter. I know a lot of women think garlic is, you know, for uh, uh, urinary tract infections, but actually... Lemon and lime juice is. That's your best bet for urinary tract infection. It's also good to help prevent kidney stones. But bacteria does not live very well in an acidic uh, atmosphere. So drinking lemon or lime in a glass of water. Me, I don't drink it in water. <laughs> Squeeze it in a cup, put a little salt on it and drink it straight. Tastes wonderful. But look at natural things. Bell peppers are good. Sweet potatoes are good for can fighting cancers. Turmeric is good for fighting cancer. You know, some chicken broth from some boiled chicken 
is wonderful with turmeric added to it and some black pepper for fighting cancer. Greens are. Learn to ferment your foods. You know, learn fermenting is so easy. It's nothing but salt and water. Pour it over vegetables that are put into a jar. Make sure the vegetables are completely covered with that salt water. Let them sit for three or four days. You don't have to have special equipment. You can put a cabbage leaf over the top, tuck it down inside the canning jar so that it stays below and then pour a little more of that salt water on top. You can look on Google. There are all kinds of recipes to fermenting your food. You can ferment anything, asparagus, sweet potatoes. You name it, you can ferment it. I love fermented foods. I do it myself all the time. You just let it sit for a couple of days. They used to do that a long time ago. They fermented a lot of foods. They didn't do canning like we do today. Mostly it was pickled and fermented. They didn't have to can it. So look at your health and look at bell peppers and garlic on a daily basis and turmeric. You know, when we eat healthy, you find out that achy joints and bones don't hurt as much. And I've known people that they say they don't have diabetes anymore just by changing their exercise routine and what they ate, they cleared up. Now, I'm not not a doctor, and I'm not sitting here and telling you, oh, yes, do this and this, and it's just going to cure you. But there are many testimonials out there of people who have had cancer, diabetes, severe arthritis, that changed their diets and they, it completely disappeared. So all I can say is, is, you know, healthy, healthy, exercise, exercise. God bless.